Oh, here we go. If you go down here, you'll go to uh, Draycott, the village of Draycott. There's a big old stile. And here we got Draycott Slides. Last time I was here, I went up that way and I climbed up the slides. I'm not doing that today. <sighs> Looks like they've... I always expect this path to be very muddy and it could be further up. <sighs> and I'm also expecting a herd. It's possible as well. So, we did our walk. I'm really pleased I've done it. We did a bit of extra. We did the Iron Age Hill Fort at Stoke Camp. I could easily have gone to Draycott now, taken my time and got the sort of ten past three-ish bus, but I thought no, let's do our walk back like we always do. Let's do it, let's walk through the quagmires. My feet are absolutely soaked, my trousers are absolutely covered in mud. And we've got, got a little bit of quagmire. It didn't look too bad actually. It could be that they had put some stones down at some point. It looks much firmer than... Well obviously there's squelch everywhere. And then we come to the lovely avenue of trees. I'm not sure if they're beech trees. I've never really been sure. But cows gather here when they're being taken in or taken out. I don't know what that is at the top, I'll just have a look. It's just a pole. Focus the camera. Let me just check it is. While it's in focus, I can sometimes check. Yeah, it's fine. A little bit of lichen there, a little bit of colour placker, moss. I'll soak my feet in a bo big bowl of hot water tonight and then watch an EastEnders. I probably, it's possible, I, uh, well I'm hoping to get back by six. Because if you get the, if I get the say quarter past four bus, it doesn't really get back to west until about half past five. So I might have walked home, but now it's, the buses are dropping you on the seafront now, I think, so. It'd be not that far to walk, not much in it really. Lovely views over at the, to the Quantock Hills over there. Yeah. I got out there a few times last year. Indigestion again. I've had that chocolate, you see. I'm best not eating when I'm out. 
I always eat on the move, you see. I don't know if they're going to be cows to greet me here. That's a lovely scene, isn't it? I'm going to turn off and take a picture of that. Right then, so I've come through the avenue of trees. I've taken lots of beautiful scenes. Glastonbury Tour came out quite nice with the sunshine on it a minute ago. There's a water pan. That was restored a couple of years ago. It's always fenced off, but I think it's supposed to be for the cows, but I don't think they can drink out of it. Now this is cow territory, but it is about the time when they're probably still in the milking shed. But if they're not, it means they're in the far field and we won't see them yet. But that was quite a big herd, what I remember when I came to Middle Down. Um, a couple years ago, um, a couple of weeks ago, there was still a big herd, or it could have been before Christmas even. Anyway, this is Jacob's Lights, the lovely big raven on the top there. Looking around, seeing what he can, what he's going to be, might take off in a minute. There he goes. Yeah, I can't, I can't keep him in focus. Oh, there he is. Flying high in the sky. He's a, he's a raven as well, because he's making the raven sounds. The echo in the voice box noise. And I think I've said once before, apparently um, some birds will make a strange noise if a carcass is available so the wolves can come along and um, break open the carcass and then the, the birds can then eat it, pick at it. Now I've been lucky today, the weather's supposed to be really changing later this evening and squally showers and everything. I had thick mist and light rain, very damp conditions at the start of the walk, but it was quite nice as well. I quite like taking photos in the mist, but it cleared in time for me to see across the fields and to check for cows. But my experience here is well trod. Look at this, it's well trod, isn't it? By humans. My experience here is that the cows are in this top field all, nearly always. But it could be that they're still with the farmer down on the farm. and that, Or they're down in, lower down. And it doesn't take them long. I've known the cows to come up not far behind me. And I've had to put my foot down a bit. And they're not long before they're right up near you. I must point out to people, I do like cows. I've never hurt a cow and I speak to them. <sighs> okay, so... <sighs> this seems like it's been prepared for us to walk on it, doesn't it? I've never seen it like this before. This little path. But of course, quite often I go up on the top of the slights there. There's a carn. I have put stones on that before now. Not going to today. I've got a lovely little mission I can do one day. Just come out to Draycott and explore the Iron Age Fort more and explore that nature reserve over there and do it before the proper season of the cow so I can enjoy it out there on a sunny day. Draycott's lights, what you can see for miles everyone. Alright, turn it off for a minute.